Okay, in this tutorial I want to look at working with layers. Um, layers are something people either love or hate, use or don't use. Um, and I use, I tend to use them a lot. Um, so I'm just going to give a kind of quick run through what layers are all about um, to hopefully, hopefully affect you, um, to help you. Okay, so let's have a look at the uh, layers. Just let me line this up. Okay, the first thing to do is to tell you where the layers gallery is. If you look there, it says layers gallery. If you click on that, it brings up this layers gallery here. And as you can see, um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six layers on this um, in this particular ZAR file. Um, at the moment, uh, the only one that you can actually viewable and editable is the viewable area. And I'll just explain quickly the view what the viewable area is. So I'll move the layer gallery out of the way a second. Um, I have to use this um, viewable area to make these Camatasia recordings. And because um, I'm restricted to the amount of screen I can use, I need to know uh, so that the amount of screen I can use is in that white area surrounded by the red. Um, so I just center that there and then, then I know that um, what I'm actually showing you um, is viewable on a screen. Bring the Lars gallery back here without docking I hope. Um, okay so I can click on that viewable area, deselect that because I don't want to select that anymore. Um, and what what are layers? Okay, so I'll open up this acetate layer, move this layers gallery away again. Basically, layers are just like um, page, one page on top of another. And as you can see here, um, there I've got four different pages of different colours on top of another. And you so you can draw on one, say acetate, that's a um, clear bit of plastic. Um, you can draw on top of that, and you can see through to that if you put a transparency on it the next layer so on down the line and often that's quite handy and you can switch these layers on and off I'll bring the layers gallery back up here um, I've got another drawing layer here uh, I've got a layer one here which just says layer one and has this um, ellipse blue purplish colored ellipse layer two which has a layer two text in it plus a yellow ellipse and layer three which has a sorry there's a fly a spider just going down the screen um which has a <laughs> excuse me the spiders to be up which has a layer three and a, a green ellipse um and as as you notice as i click on one of these little rows under here under this eye icon the um layer will either be visible or not visible um, so if I click on layer 2 layer 2 disappears if I click on layer 3 layer 3 disappears if I click on the drawing layer that disappears and if I click on the acetate layer that disappears so we can always put them back all together there and say so I just wanted to um, pick all the objects in the acetate layer I then have to click on this editable this little arrow field here which actually means that that layer is editable it's not only visible but it's editable so now acetate layer here is viewable and it's also editable and I can either go on to the select tool and select one of the items in the um, acetate layer and move it around so I can undo that excuse me a minute while I've had some trouble with working at this very small screen size or I can go edit select all and that selects everything within the acetate layer but still leaves everything else in all the other layers as they are um, it's a real bummer this uh, trying to work at this small resolution um, so you can see that just moving you know um, to try and actually if everything here wasn't in actually within layers but were all editable and trying to click on select one particular page in that acetate or click on 
one of those ellipses would become very difficult and often you'd have to go to wireframe and then try and select that from the from the wireframe section and even there it, it's it's becomes almost impossible and that's why I always use layers once you get into the into the um, idea of using them and um, developing them all the time uh, it becomes second nature you don't even think about it you 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 you, you you'll make a layer uh, once the layer is no longer required you'll you'll move things up and down between layers and delete layers um, another thing about layers um, is often as you say it can become very monotonous clicking on all these buttons and, and unclicking on all these buttons um, let me just show you if we had that and I wanted to click on get all the layers make them visible then click on them make them all editable I have to, to do all that um, I'll just undo it now which is very boring one of the faster ways of doing it is just to click on this make all view it, all layers visible and make all layers editable and now I can select any one within that and move them around um, another way of doing this is just clicking on the and a lot of, not a lot of people know this not a lot of people know this <laughs> but you can actually click on the view the layer and then if you click on layer 3 holding down the shift key that will make all those layers between where you click with the shift click and the bottom layer viewable similarly I'm going to shift click on layer 2 um, and bottom that doesn't actually do what I wanted you can click on there and click on there and make th those editable um, so you, you, you don't have to go around independently clicking every time you can actually just shift click shift click shift click will actually select a lot of those viewable layers um, it's very difficult to um, to actually explain to people but, but experiment with them mess around with them as much as you can the other one that's very handy is actually um, saying if we just go down to the acetate layer so the acetate layer is the only one except for, uh, editable and because that acetate layer is highlighted, we're in acetate layer, we can copy that. And Zara comes up with copy of acetate layer example. I wish it didn't. I wish it said acetate layer, acetate example copy, and then it'd be easier to, um, to do it. But you can just do that too. And you can make a copy of that altogether. Then you can start to delete things in layers and without going into it in too great a depth that's very handy when you're doing animated GIFs rather than have to cut and copy paste um, things in and out of um, various layers you can just copy those layers uh, I don't want that layer so I'll delete it um, because there's already something in there um, the layers contain some objects. Are you sure you want to delete them? Yes, I, I do want to delete them, so I'd say delete. If there wasn't anything in them, then Zara doesn't even ask that. It'll just delete the layer. Anyway, I, uh, I'm a bit confusing this um, video, but I hope that um, actually explains a bit more about layers and how to use them. Thanks a lot for watching.